everyone. My name is Sergey. I co-founded a company called Gradescope. And uh, just briefly before I get to the slides, we were grad students at Berkeley. We had to grade a whole bunch of exams. And we were teaching intro to AI, but we were still grading these big stacks of paper. So we decided to make uh, a more computerized solution to it. It quickly spread within the department. It kind of jumped to other departments, other schools. We decided to make it a company. Today, we're at over 600 schools. Uh, we've had six, sorry, 400,000 course enrollments last year. Um, and this is the way we think about what we're doing here. So today, anyone can learn pretty much anything. The best educational experiences today are probably YouTube lectures, um, Khan Academy. There's MOOCs that are free or at least cheap on pretty much every subject. There's free textbooks. So if you really set your mind to it, you can learn pretty much anything. So we're done, right? Well, there's no feedback to help you learn along the way. So that means, yes, you can find all the materials, but no one's telling you where they are. No one's telling you if you're actually ready for the next step. You have to kind of figure it out. And we've all had the experience where you think you understand something until uh, something that builds on it is way too hard for you, and you actually realize you have to go back and learn it again. There's no credential at the end of it, so no one is signing off on the fact that you actually learned it. Uh, and there's no career, which is very related. You know, for someone to really convince employers that they learned something, they have to do something extraordinary. They have to probably do blog posts about their education experience. They have to do projects uh, on their own time for free. Maybe they have to do an unpaid internship or something. And the way to think about this is that there's no actual platform to measure what people know. The closest thing we have is probably higher education, which is a huge industry. And yes, it does provide content in the form of lectures, but I think mostly what it provides is actually uh, tutoring kind of interactions and then grading. So as people learn stuff, they actually get assessed by people who are paid to do that. And then they get a diploma that essentially uh, credentials them to get a job of some sort. Let's say we wanted to scale it out, not actually have as many people, have it be so expensive, right? Higher ed is very expensive right now. So what if we wanted some kind of AI-based product that could instantly assess what everyone knows in a diversity of subjects? Every AI product has three parts to it, right? There's the actual AI, um, there's the product, and then there's the data, and the data is the lifeblood of the AI. And the secret is you have to start with the data. So you have to find a way to generate or capture the data so that you can train the AI, which makes the product, which generates more data and trains the AI in a virtuous cycle. The truth is, this data actually is being generated every single day at every higher ed campus uh, in the world, and it's called grading. Uh, it's pretty much the perfect data for what we're trying to do. It's uh, humans looking at a complex input, the student answer, <laughs> and the question content, doing a lot of labor to actually understand what the student understands and then giving them feedback uh, on it. Now, that's a very painful process. It's actually probably the most painful part of certainly higher ed education. Um, and the real shame of it is you spend all this time grading, and then you essentially throw it away. You give it to the student. The student just sees the final score. They probably throw away the exam at the end of it. Uh, and no one really uh, gets anything out of this process. Here's a little comic that just, the, the punchline is grading, if only you cared a little less, right? So it sucks doing it, but you do want to help the students, so you spend all this time like, deciding how many points to take off or stuff. So what we made is a painkiller. Uh, it's, a, it's a product that we made for ourselves first to, to help us grade exams. We've since expanded it to also address homeworks and programming projects. <laughs> And uh, the, the, the real thing is you grade everything online instead of on paper. I think paper's great as an input device. You know, it lets, uh, certainly in STEM subjects, you can draw molecules, you can write graphs, write math. And so I don't think that's going away. It also prevents cheating. But grading on paper sucks, and uh, this is a painkiller for that. You get a repeatable rubric uh, that helps you be consistent as you're grading many answers. We build it for ourselves, like I said. Um, this is a little promotional slide, I should probably just skip that. So last fall we had 400,000 enrollments, 600 plus institutions. About three-fourths of that is higher ed right now. Um, 
And we have awesome user feedback. So my favorite one is from uh, Woody up there. He's a national astronaut. He says, Gradescope is rocket fuel for grading. My students love getting feedback just a few hours after their quizzes. So our first customer here is the university. We get instructors to uh, uh, you know, see the value in using this product. We sell it to the whole university. And part of what they pay for is LMS integrations, but also uh, the premium part of this product, which, which is kind of the first iteration of how we're thinking about applying AI, which is essentially AI assistance. I don't know if this is going to play. There we go. So you have a, it's AI assistance for grading. We're not going to auto-grade for the instructor. We're going to help them do it faster by essentially grouping answers by their content so that they can grade the whole group at once. We're fortunate to have received um, assi uh, grant assistance from the NSF to help us develop this further. Now, users grading uh, generates data. We've already had 40 million answers graded. This is mostly in STEM subjects, computer science, chemistry, math, physics, stuff like that, to train our AI, make the product better, more defensible. The next thing for us that we're super excited about is uh, something we call question bank. And that's the idea that once you have the question content, the rubric that you use to grade it, and potentially even the groups and the mapping of the groups to the rubric, if you could share that with other instructors, that would really speed them up. And potentially a new answer, once you've already graded you know, a couple of hundred, a new answer is going to match to an existing group and be uh, automatically graded. And then later on, we want to get to actually placing uh, learners into careers that really take advantage of their skills. So uh, we're based in Berkeley. We're about 15 people right now. And the real thing that I'm trying to get out of it is to talk to a lot of people here. So please come talk to me.